Hey guys, it's Luke. In this video, I am going to teach you how to answer the phone in English. Before we get started with that though, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see my future videos. Also, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out my courses in the links in the description. All right, let's begin. When it comes to answering the phone in English, there are a couple of things that I'd like to mention before we actually talk about how to do it. Now, one is that the way that we answer the phone has changed in the last maybe 15 years because we all have smartphones. And so most of the time we know exactly who's calling us. We can see the name of our friend calling us. So we just say hello, <laughs> right? And that's it. And we start the conversation. But sometimes, sometimes you don't know who's calling unidentified number or maybe, maybe you're using a different kind of phone. Some people still use traditional landline phones, right? So there are still some things to know. And many of the expressions we're going to talk about in this video can be used for conversations on your smartphone too. When we answer the phone, of course, we can say hello. If we know who's calling, if the person's name is there, then we can say hey or hi, or maybe say their name and start with the conversation. Now, sometimes someone may be calling you and you don't know who they are. Maybe you don't know the number or maybe it's work related. This is very common in companies at work. People need to talk to you. You've never talked to them before. So they probably want to confirm who this is, not who you are, but who this is on the phone. We use who is this and this is rather than who are you and I am. We say I am in person. Who are you in person at night? Maybe who are you? <laughs> But if it's on the phone, we say this is and who is this? Now that's a little bit direct. So usually what people say is, for example, um, is this Luke? Is this Luke? Not are you Luke? Is this Luke? So if you're calling someone else and you want to make sure you're talking to the right person, you should say is this mm -hmm -hmm, and then say who you think it is, maybe their name or if it's their title. Right. Is this the director of the is this the manager of the whatever it may be? Or you could say, am I speaking with am I speaking with Luke? Am I speaking with Luke? Sometimes we say that, too. Now, if somebody calls me and says, is this Luke? My name is Luke. So I probably will say, yes, this is he. That sounds a little weird, maybe, but that's what we'll say. Yes, this is he or maybe yes. This is Luke. Sometimes instead of saying this is he or this is Luke, instead, we'll just say speaking, speaking. That means Luke is the person who you're talking to now, right? So we can just say speaking and that's fine too. But maybe I don't want to say that this is Luke right away because I don't know who's calling me. I mean, you're calling me. So why should I say yes, this is Luke or yes, this is he first. You need to tell me who you are first maybe to protect my privacy or just for common respect. So instead, instead of saying, yes, this is he, I might say, who is this? Now that might be a little too direct. So we might say, mm, may I ask who is speaking? May I ask who is speaking or may I ask who this is? May I ask who this is and focus on the this may I ask who this is first. You tell me your name. And then I'll tell you if this is Luke or not. Oh, yes. Hello. My name is uh, Sean Peterson and I am calling about blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes. OK. Well, yes, this is Luke. And then we can have the conversation. I can confirm it that I am the person you were trying to call. So this sometimes happens. In fact, it often happens to me. And I will usually say, um, may I ask who this is first before saying, yes, this is Luke. Now, what if it is my friend calling me? I know who it is because I can see their name on my phone. It's Kevin. It's my good friend, Kevin. So instead of saying, who is this first or him saying, is this Luke? We don't need to do that, of course, right? Because I can see the name and he knows who he's calling. So I'll just say directly, hey, Kevin, 
what's up? Hey, Kevin, what's up? That's how I'll usually answer the phone in that case. Or I might say, hey, what's up? Without even saying the name. Now I could, of course, I could say, hello, right? I could, you can always say hello at the beginning of a phone call. But if it's somebody you know, it's okay to just start with their name. Hey is more casual, the name, and then often, often, not always, what's up? What if somebody's calling you because they actually want to talk to someone else who maybe lives with you? Often this is for family members when there's a shared family phone, or maybe a landline phone in your home, right? Someone calls, you answer the phone, but actually you need to pass them to someone else. Now, if this person wants to speak to, for example, my brother, when I answer the phone and say hello, they say, hey, it's, and then they'll say their name, hey, it's Steve. Okay, I know who Steve is because Steve is my brother's friend. Hey, it's Steve. And then what will Steve say? Well, he could say, can I talk to, can I talk to your brother? You could say my brother's name, can I talk to your brother? Or instead, and I think this is better, is your brother around? Is your brother around? Why say is your brother around first instead of can I talk to your brother? Well, what if he's not home? Yeah, maybe we live in the same place, but what if he's not home? Well, yeah, that's a good question. So it's better to say, is your brother around, which means is he nearby? Are you close to him or in the same house even? Before saying, can I speak with him? So if you say, is your brother around? And I say, mm, hold on, let me check. Oh yes, he's here. Let me check. Oh yes, he's here. Okay, then, could I speak with him please? Can I talk with him? Could you put him on? Could you put him on? Now, put him on is also something that we might use in a more formal situation. For example, in a company, right? Someone wants to talk with a colleague of yours, your boss, maybe your supervisor, right? So you've talked with this person for a while. They really want to talk with your supervisor. So they say, um, could you put him on? Or could you put Mrs. D -d -d on? and then you go and get that person. Or you can say, uh, let me transfer you, or I will transfer you, which then means you push it over to their phone, maybe in their office. If you're in a very small office, you might actually ask them to come over and they'll actually use the same, the same phone. But we can say, whether it's with friends, for families, or in companies sometimes, could you put that person on, or can I please speak with that person? If you need to ask somebody to wait for any reason, maybe you have to check some information. Maybe you're talking with a customer service person and they're trying to help you, but they've asked you for information, like a serial number for something that you bought that you're trying to get fixed. And they ask you what that number is. Well, you need to go check. In this situation, you can say, hold on, let me check. Please wait a moment, I'll check. Or just a moment, let me check. Let me see, let me go look, okay? So first you say, please wait or please hold on, hold on or wait, both of those are okay. I actually prefer to use please hold on or hold on for a moment, please, if it's a more formal situation. And then I'll say what I need to do. For example, hold on please, I'll go check. Or wait a second, I'll go get him. Or just a minute, just a minute, let me go see, let me go see. So it's two things together, an expression to ask someone to wait and then the action, the action that you need to take, the thing that they need to wait for. All right, so we've talked about the ways that we can pick up the phone, we can say who we are on the phone, ask who others are, ask someone to wait, or perhaps pass the phone to someone else. Now, what about when our friend calls us and we want to begin the conversation? Let's talk about that. There are lots of things around making phone calls, of course, but let's say how we can actually begin the conversation on the phone. So let's say my friend Kevin is calling me and I see the call, I see it's Kevin, and I say, hey, Kevin. Now I might say, hey, Kevin, what's up? And Kevin will say, hey, Luke, right? He might say, what's up? What's up could be, why are you calling? In fact, when you're on a phone call and you want to know why someone is calling you and they haven't said why they're calling you yet, you can say, what's up? That means, why are you calling? But what's up is also a great way to start the conversation. So when you say, what's up, 
the other person might say, oh, nothing much, nothing much, or not much, or nothing. Or they might say what they're doing. They might say, oh, just hanging out at home, playing some, playing some video games. You? Right? And then I can say what I'm doing. Then we can start the conversation and talk about whatever we're going to talk about. Very similar questions that also start with what might be what's going on. Very common, basically the same meaning of what are you doing? Sometimes you'll also hear what's happening. What's happening? Now that sounds like there's something wrong, right? Does that mean, oh, there's a problem? No, no, no. What's happening just means what's up? What's going on? What are you doing? I want to remind you, this is for when friends call you, when someone you know calls you and you want to get the conversation started. These what questions are very common, but you can also use how questions. Very common questions would be, how's it going? How's it going? And how are things? Now I didn't say, how are you, right? How are you? Sounds so serious, right? We'll say, how are you to someone we don't know well, but if it's a friend, we might say, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty well, right? How are things? Things are, yeah, things are okay. Uh, I'm just, and then say what you're doing, maybe what's going on recently. So if you say how, you start with good, bad, okay, so, so, fine. But notice the answer fits the question. How's it going? It's going okay. So this is also a really good way to start a conversation, to begin a conversation on the phone with someone you know well. I want to be clear. This is for people we know well friends, usually not with strangers. With strangers, we'll say, um, who is this, <laughs> right? It starts in a much more serious way. Okay, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope these phrases are useful. I know it can be a little scary to start a phone conversation, but you can really use the things we've talked about in this video. I really hope they help you. Now, if you have any questions about this topic, if you're not sure about something, or you feel like I didn't mention something, let me know in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions about other sorts of topics or situations you'd like me to talk about, again, just leave a comment. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button, and I will see you next time.